Hello, today is Sunday, February 10th, and it's a quarter to seven. And it's been a very emotional day for me, and I really don't know why. I find myself crying easily um, today, yesterday, last weekend. And one of the things is, is, you know, I'm in a relationship and I'm at the stage where I'm trying to get him to understand my pain and I'm not like any other woman as far as able to be like moving and outgoing and, you know, I give him all that I can, all my might, cooking and, you know, the things that comes along with a relationship. But I'm extremely tired. I just want to sleep sometimes because I'm so so tired. And I wake up in extreme pain, which causes me to be extremely moody. And I know that I've, I've snapped on him, and he doesn't understand why. And I'm like, I, I bite his head off because he's the closest person to me. So I'm kind of feeling guilty. I'm a little nervous that I'm going to eventually push him away. So that also makes me sad and also calls the crying. And I hope you guys can hear me because I understand the video I did last time a few days ago. Um, you couldn't hear me. Please apologize. I apologize in advance. I have an extremely bad headache. I've been having headaches a lot. My blood pressure has been extremely high. And... I take blood pressure medication to control my, my blood pressure. So in any event, like I mentioned in my videos, I'm on a few support groups that I belong to and fan pages and sorts. And I find out um, information here and there. And today when I was trying to share with my love of my life, um, to get him to kind of understand fibromyalgia and the pain because it's hard for him to understand that. I found a couple of things that I shared with him. Today, one of them I shared is called adrenal exhaustion. It says, have you ever been diagnosed with adrenal exhaustion? I know a few of you have been. So here is a brief description of what that is exactly. This is like many other diagnoses can be avoided and helped with the proper lifestyle changes. Adrenal, adrenal exhaustion occurs when the adrenal glands are exhausted and unable to produce adequate quantities of hormones, primarily cortisol. These glands are our body's primary shock absorbers. They are chiefly responsible for releasing producing hormones, including norepinephrine, nor I think is how you say it, this makes your heart pound, your blood rush to your head in large muscle groups, your pupils widen, your brain sharpen, and your tolerance for pain increase basically. It prepares you for battle. Cortisol in systems I'm sorry, cortisol increases your appetite and energy level while toning down your immune systems. Allergic and inflammatory responses. It stimulates the storage and release of energy in the body. Helps the body rest stressful effects of infections, trauma, and temperature extremes, and helps you maintain stable emotions. And DHEA, these hormones help to neutralize cortisol's immune suppressant effect, thereby improving resistance to disease, keeps the bad cholesterol LDL levels under control, provides vital to and energy, sharpens the mind and helps maintain normal sleep pattern. So um, the signs for this would be you awake and exhausted, knowing you got more than enough rest. You not only rely on sugary snacks and caffeine to get through the day, but find you actually crave sweets, particularly in the late mornings or afternoon. You think you're thinking it's foggy and you have memory problems. You suffer from current and recurrent infections, headaches, and depression. You have trouble falling asleep at night even though you feel exhausted. And it says, what causes adrenal exhaustion? 
unbated stress over long periods of time combined with a nutrient-poor diet lack of B2, 3, 5, and 6 is what usually tends to adrenal exhaustion. It says foods can aid in the healing such as bananas, pistachios, potatoes, Brussels sprouts, avocados, dates, peas, pumpkin seeds, guana, grapes, mulberries, artichoke, pomegranate, brown rice, butternut squash, and pine nuts. So these are some things that can help. Now, I hear so many different things of this and that, and you may have this, if you have any symptoms, it's this, it's that. So I don't always believe in this, so I'm just sharing this with you. Um, um, you know, if you have any symptoms, you can get diagnosed if you want, but I'm so tired of looking for his diagnosis diagnosed for this and diagnosed for that and you know if this is what's wrong with me or if that's what's wrong with you or you know I, I, I'm just fed up with it um, the other thing that I shared is um, I had posted that today that I just want to cry because my fibro pain is intolerable and it is so, so very painful, and I find myself wanting to just cry. It's, it's the most painful and, and disabling thing that a person can live through, and I, I sympathize for those of us that are suffering from fibromyalgia. I truly pity you. There is there is no reason in this world that, you know, we should suffer as much as we do. And everything in our lives are affected by this. But I eat a lot of garlic, and I also notice that garlic helps. Um, garlic, eating garlic a day, it helps fight against high cholesterol, athlete's foot, um, poor digestion, low energy, blood sugar, blood cholesterol, colon cancer, chronic bronchitis, yeast infections, respiratory problems, boost the immune system, increased absorption of, of iron and ink, antitoxidants, breast cancer, colon, flu, leukemia, vaginitis, toothaches, warts, stomach, diabetes, parasites, and allergies. Now, I know that all, all of us have parasites in our bodies, and parasites, some are good and some are bad, and they eat on some of those things that that our body relies on. So we have to take into mind maybe fermenting, juicing, you know, watching our diet, watching our calorie intake, try to do some sort of exercise if you can. Um, I also found seven alternatives to treatment for chronic pain because chronic pain hurts. Um, and like they say, pain is a natural and unpleasant sensation that serves as a body's response to a stimulus that can potentially cause harm or has already resulted to tissue damage. Now, as I mentioned before, I have chronic nerve damage. I'm at the point where, one, I was diagnosed late. I was diagnosed late with fibromyalgia. I was diagnosed late having multiple sclerosis. I was diagnosed late having vertigo. I was diagnosed late having fibroids cyst, which are both in my breast and in my abdomen, which is one of the reasons why I had to have a um, full hysterectomy, and I was just in my early 30s. Um, anyhow, uh, let's see, meditation. See, they say all these things, but I try these things, and it doesn't work for me. Meditation, massage works, Okay. Heat and cold therapy. Cold therapy will not work for me. That's just, it's not. Heat therapy is a temporary release if it's like a uh, relief, sorry, if it's on my back or shoulders or neck. But other than that, it's, it's just a temporary 15 minutes or a hot shower, 15 minutes, and then the pain comes back. Massage, acupuncture doesn't work. It causes me to have inflammations. Music does work. Um, Omega-3, I've been on it. I can get back on it to see if it helps. Herbs, I'm on all types of herbs. But some of the herbs that helps is willow bark. Um, 
Let's see. Aspirin, which I don't do. Chili peppers definitely help. Cayenne pepper. Um, drinking ginger ale. I don't like ginger ale. I'll do ginger. I'll take baths and ginger. Actually, taking baths and ginger and Epsom salt really does help. Um, that really does. I mean, when you, trust me. I'm a person that complains about pain, and not a lot of things help. But taking a bath, they just use a teaspoon, between a teaspoon to three teaspoons of ginger with a quarter cup to a half a cup of Epsom salt. You run the Epsom salt and the ginger under the flowing water, and you soak. And I'm telling you, it truly, truly helps. The only thing is if you're allergic to ginger because it makes you itch, you may want to put a little oil in the bath water, but it's, it's truly worth having the itching. Just take, before you dry your body off, pat dry your body, put baby oil over on your skin and then pat dry instead of drying. That'll help um, tone down the itching. Um, another herb is a ginger, and that's all I see. Ginger is supposed to help headaches and migraines. I don't know about that. It causes me to have more headaches and migraines for myself. Um, sorry, it just went blank. I've been looking for a fibromyalgia necklace, and I just happened to see it on this site. But anyhow, um, there are a lot of things that, you know, that we're trying to learn, and, and I'm really trying to share with you. And I'm telling you that I, I, I keep saying that I'm not going to cry, but this, this pain is, is so very painful, and... You know, I wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy, and and I wish that the people who don't have it would just experience one day in our shoes to see how painful it is. This is the most painful disease that you can have. I mean, I've I've had many ailments, and this is truly painful. It feels like I wake up and I feel like I I was waking up out of my sleep having labor pains. So if you are a mother and you've had children and you know what those labor pains feels like and you have these labor pains all day long, every single day, with no Demerol shots or epidural or whatever they give you now when you have your kids, then you know how I feel. And I have doctors that are turning me away and saying to me, your condition is chronic, there's nothing else that we can do. So I'm basically supposed to sit and suffer and be in pain and this is like something that is at the point now where it's intolerable I can't tolerate it anymore it's too much yeah, it's got to be managed by some sort of pain control some sort of pain management you know how can a doctor tell you that your condition is chronic and there's nothing that they can do for you it's chronic it's chronic that means you need more help than someone normally have just pain here and there. I, I just don't get it. But, you know, I don't know. I, I just I don't understand it. Um, I know that I've talked to a lot of people that suffer from fibromyalgia, that's lost loved ones, family, friends, because of our moods, because they don't understand us. They think that we're lying. It's all in our head. And it truly is, 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 it's a lonely disease. And I just have a feeling that this lonely disease is going to take me out of this world living alone. I really, truly do. Because although as much as I love my children, they don't get it. They don't get it. And it hurts me sometimes when... I need them to take out the trash, or I need them to take me somewhere, or I need something from them, and they don't do it. And it hurts, because I wouldn't ask unless I really, truly needed it. So I have to sit here, and I have to suffer. And I think about what I sacrificed for them. 
And there's no sacrificing that the kids will do for you. And I see sometimes guys on Facebook that I went to high school with talk about how much they love their mother and they do this and that for their mom. And I think to myself sometimes, wow, I wish my boys would do that for me. Anyhow, I'm just at my wit's end. Um, I tried to end my relationship because I feel like I should just be by myself because it's just no one understands. So for all of you out there, my five real friends, I truly, truly, my heart goes out to you. And for those who have five real family members that are suffering from it for many years, please, by all means, support your family. We truly do need you. And I'm pleading with you, and I'm I'm screaming out for help. If you don't have fibromyalgia, and there's someone that you love in your life, please be there for them, because we truly need all the support that we can get. We truly do. And I just want you to understand that, and I I want you to always believe that things happen to us for a reason. And if you don't help that person that you care about, guess what? You could be the next person suffering and doing these videos like me. Because karma is true. So don't mistreat us. Don't make fun of us. This is real. Thanks for watching. And as always, God bless. And I hope to have more subscribers. I hope to have more friends, more comments. And please, please, video responses. Feel free to subscribe to my channel, and I will do my best to keep you updated. And if you have a video journal that you keep for yourself, please let me know, and I'll be more than happy to subscribe to your channel. And thank you for the compliments, young lady. You left me some beautiful compliments, and that meant a lot. I needed to hear that today. All right, so... um. Have a good day and God bless.